Hello and welcome to the very first episode of this brand new series on this, well, brand new channel where we are going to be making a brand new zoo in a brand new franchise, starting everything from scratch um, as if, you know, we just bought this game and, you know, need to build that franchise from the ground up again. This is not my first time playing Planet Zoo. I do have a franchise on my other account um, that is probably at, I don't know, I sit pretty comfortably at like a few thousand conservation credits quite consistently. So the reason that I wanted to start this one again from scratch was just to get that challenge back a little bit and, you know, experience really what it feels like again to make a zoo from nothing. The goal of this series is going to be to make a beautiful and successful modern city zoo, uh, per se. So I, I wanted to make this series to really keep me motivated and hopefully get some tips and tricks from anybody watching as we go through it. I'm going to be really happy to receive any kind of comments, any kind of feedback, suggestions, etc. So if you have anything, please let me know, of course. Um, looking to really get better at this game and also focus a lot on, you know, making an actually beautiful zoo. I, I find a lot of the time when I'm just playing this game, I, you know, you get so much into the franchise and so much into just the mechanics of this game and, and wanting to make money and et cetera, et cetera. I, I do tend to put aesthetics on the back and I figured maybe filming some of this would really just keep me motivated to build that zoo that I'm actually, you know, that is in my head. So uh, this zoo is, you might have noticed at the very beginning, but it is called Neuropa City Zoo. And the idea behind this is I wanted to make a, you know, a, like a, a kind of a typical city zoo, nothing crazy, you know, kind of nature reserves, nothing like that. But I wanted to put a little bit of a twist on it and really act as though this zoo takes is in a city that is a little bit more futuristic, very modern eco style all around, very, the zoo in general, I want to be a little bit more artificially built than like, you know, a natural landscape, kind of something that you would actually, you know, find in this city. So I'm gonna insert a little bit here, maybe of uh, like a scroll through of my vision board for this um, zoo, <laughs> for the design of this zoo. But in general, we're looking at a lot of, you know, clean lines, clean shapes, as you can even see so far in this time lapse. Um, I'm trying really for those circles, for those, you know, sharp edges on the, on even the lake there, that uh, it, it, uh, it will look a little bit better, I think, once we get the, once we get some, like, you know, concrete around the edges and, and all of that, but that'll come in a later date. We're, we're not focusing too much on getting this beautiful at this stage, just getting some kind of base down for the grand vision here. So this giant enclosure that you see is going to be a flamingo enclosure. I know it is very, very large and I'm not planning on making really any other enclosures in this zoo this big, but for this entrance area, I, I it is an entrance area. It's gonna hopefully have, I, mean, I do build a bit of the building. I do build a bit of the building um, in this time lapse, but hopefully it will end up being, you know, something really nice, something that, you know, guests are excited to walk into. We're gonna have a lot of a few different features in here and, and that kind of thing. So this first, uh, yeah, right here, we're just getting the all of our beginning staff buildings down. One little section here for this habitat um, and looking for some flamingos, of course. Uh, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do this quite a bit even after the time lapse as well. It's, I remember flamingos being the easiest animals to get before. Like you find flamingos on there for like 15 or 10 conservation credits for the longest time. But I don't know why that's not the case anymore, I guess. I don't know if nobody likes flamingos <laughs> anymore or what it is exactly. But um, either way, hopefully we can get all the flam flamingos we need. Or I do remember them just breeding like crazy anyway. So I I'm not overly concerned there. Hopefully we can just get, you know, a few guests in with these guys. Get a few more conservation credits from giving them up once they do start having babies. And start expanding our zoo that way. Here you can see we are, I am just starting to build what will be the central building. Um, this does take a couple of, a couple of tries to get the size right, but it ends up being a pretty, it's a pretty simple building for now. It's also not going to end up being finished in this time lapse, but it will all come 
it'll all come in due time. The thing, the biggest thing with playing in franchise mode versus just a sandbox is we'll need to be a little bit more conservative as we go. And we do, I do think I finish off this whole area with a comfortable amount of money left over. So I really, I, I just wanted to get down some basics, spend the first little bit of our money and figure it out from there, really see, make sure that the guests are happy, the flamingos are happy <laughs> and that we can pay our staff. So here I, essentially what this is gonna be, this is a glass, a circular glass building. And I wanted this really cool, um, just light wood feature on the top. I decided to go with making it from scratch instead of the wall pieces, mostly just because the wall pieces are, you can't really merge them into the scenery group with everything else. So when it comes to like duplicating this building and stuff, it just, it makes it so much more difficult. I way prefer to just use scenery pieces when it comes to making circular buildings and domes and anything that's not like square, completely square. The, the wall pieces just don't really feel like they play very well with. So yeah, that's, that's what you can see me doing here. And I think it works out just fine. I, I'm, maybe we need to bring those out a little bit more. I, I know that the like 2 d facade versus more of a 3D facade, if that would circle kind of expanded out a little bit more and made a sort of deck might be a little bit better, but I also might make this building a bit taller in the future anyway. So we will just kind of, we're going to leave it as is for now and then we will see where we can take it in the future. In general, I, I do have pretty big grand plans for the Sioux. I, I want to keep a lot of it a bit of a surprise also. I don't want to you know, as much as I did write down those plans, I don't want to, you know, keep them too stuck in stone. Um, I would like to keep that a little bit, keep a little bit of leeway here and there. It's going to take a while to finish off this whole zoo. I think that's another big motivation for actually filming as well. I think it's, it, it's very easy to get these big ideas. I, I mean, maybe, maybe this is just me, but I'm sure any of you who also play these kind of really creative games, it's very easy to get these really great ideas, really want to build something like this and then and quit halfway through essentially, just kind of get bored of it and be done with it. And I really, I, I want to see, <laughs> I want to see this one through. So it, it's probably going to be a very long season. I want to build a full zoo. I want to, you know, I want it to be beautiful. I want it to be successful. And I have, I didn't actually count. I think there must be like 10 or so animals in mind for this zoo, which may not sound like a lot, but if we're going to be developing fully fleshed out and beautiful enclosures for everybody and everything that has to go in between them all, it, it will take quite a bit of time. So we'll see how that goes as well. Um, I did start with a couple of uh, facilities for the guests as well. Now that I'm thinking about it, I did not add a washroom, which I don't know how necessary it is right off the bat, to be honest. I don't think guests are going to stay in this zoo for long enough to need one at this point, maybe. Maybe we'll add one. Uh, we'll see what the finances look like um, after the time lapse. But a uh, washroom we do not have yet, and info center we also actually don't have yet. So. Here we can see I had some grand ideas for like two pads. I don't know. I don't know why that was an idea. We end up just connecting these guys to the big circular path. It's a lot of room for a lineup, so that's no problem. And people in the lineups will not get in the way of anybody who are trying to watch the flamingos <laughs> when the space finally fills up with flamingos. It, it's going to look very ridiculous for a while. Um, <laughs> this giant space with like the very few flamingos that we are going to have, but I'm hoping the flamingos just, I'm hoping they breed real quick. I'm hoping we can hopefully buy a bunch of really cheap ones from the um, animal trading center as well. And hopefully this place will be a flocked full of, you know, 30 to 50 flamingos in no time. I'm, I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Hope, I'm just hoping that people like the flamingos enough to actually, you know, consider them enough to come and see the zoo for. I am debating, we might, after the time-lapse, also look at adding some exhibit animal. It, it won't stay in this section forever. I, I do plan on doing like a full exhibit animal area later, but I'm thinking it might help with bringing in guests. We'll, we'll see. Um, as long as we can afford it with our... I don't think I paid... Yeah, I haven't paid any conservation credits yet for any flamingos, so we might be able to use those on exhibit animals. I think there are some that are quite cheap, we'll have to check, but 
With that being said, this <laughs> looks like the end of the time lapse, so we are going to jump right into some real time play. All right, and just like that, we are finally ready to start playing this zoo. So we hired our first set of keepers as well. Uh, we have or our first set of um, employees as well. So we have the keeper, our vendors. Um, I think we should just have, I think this is our one extra vendor. I think we have one for each of the shops as well. Uh, mechanic, our vet, and our caretaker. So I'm just gonna let this run um, while we take a little closer look around because I want them to get the flamingos into the quarantine for us. But yeah, so we got um, a few education boards put up as well and I think, I don't know if I can set these yet. Yeah, I have to wait until the flamingos actually get in before I can set them. So yeah, we have a few just kind of of these educational boards going up here that will hopefully keep our education rating nice and high for this habitat. We'll see if people prefer to stand over here or over here to watch them. I'm assuming it's going to be over here because this is where the food is, but uh, I mean, we'll see once they actually get here. So we have a, a gulpy soda and we have a chief beef. So I know everybody always lines up like crazy for chief beef, so I really wanted one of these. And then, I mean, the soda is the only actual drink shop I think that we can get at this stage. But that reminds me as well, the mechanic, we are going to have to put straight into getting some research done because we have nothing. So let's start with, oh, what are we going to need? So I built this building without using the new world pack. I know we're going to need it, but I don't know that it's that important to get it right away. So I'm thinking maybe we get food and drink shops first, or maybe even a souvenir shop first and go from there. We will also need to set up the vet research, but I want to wait until we get our flamingos in here. Uh, what else are you complaining about? A surgery? We don't need a vet surgery right away. I, I'm not concerned about that. So the other thing that I did want to look into was maybe getting an exhibit animal or two for this area as well, even if it's just temporarily. Let's take a look. Um, okay, let's go by appeal. What's the highest appeal? Okay, interesting. So basically we can we have to pay money for all of these, which actually isn't bad because we can save our conservation credits that way for more flamingos or for our next animal, whatever it may be. And we do have... I did manage to keep us quite a bit of money after the start, but I don't know. I don't want to... I don't want to put that get that down too low just in case and here we go flamingos are in i believe all right they're running <laughs> they're running they're running to get the flamingos excellent uh what are you doing staff room is so far away oh i mean i don't know i think that's fine for now i'll, I'll put another staff room in this building a little bit later i just want to make sure that we actually are gonna have some money to start and not just <laughs> fall to a million pieces as soon as our zoo opens here. Uh, let's see, we got three dollars, three dollars each to start with. That's probably good enough to see a couple of flamingos. Hopefully they don't complain about that price at all. And here they are, our very first animals. Um, okay, so we have, we should have two flamingos. Yep, perfect. Oh, one's significantly taller than the other. That's cute. All right, so let's take a look because I'm gonna have to do their terrain and such as well. Um, so they, oh, they actually, I didn't know they, they have no navigatable. Okay, I'm going to take a look and see what they can get into here. Um, habitat. Oh, interesting. They can't get into this water. Why is that? It's, I did put water there, right? It's <laughs> a good question. Yeah, there's water there. Huh. Interesting. I wonder why they can't get to it. Uh, maybe I will just quickly put down a couple of pa uh, rocks to see if that helps them. Uh, temperate rocks, I think. Yeah, something like this. Um, it's not aligned to surface. And we will just... Oh, look at that. We've got everybody coming too. All right, we got to make sure these flamingos are happier or else we are going to get protesters right off the bat and that is not going to be a fun way of doing things. Um, let's just do... It's going to look really strange for now, but let's do a little bit of a step here and see if they can get into the water now. 
Um, I cannot get into the water. That seems really strange to me. Um, let's move this up a bit more. Try again. Okay, there we go. Okay. No, that's fine. I guess this edge is just way too steep for them, but yeah, now they can use that rock. Um, I'll have to go a li around and line this whole thing with some a step or a rock or something for them to get in a little bit later, but I'm not too concerned for now. And yeah, basically they can swim underneath here. They can't actually walk through here because of the fencing, but they should be able to swim underneath to get to the other side of their habitat. Again, doesn't really matter too much right now because we don't have enough flamingos to fill up this space. But anyway, let's get onto this, at least the terrain for them. So we need less long grass, more soil, more rock. That's fine, let's do that. Paint in some light soil. Maybe around the pond would make sense. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of this, aren't we? And of course, this habitat. I'm, I'm actually really excited to build this habitat. I have some really cool ideas. I want to build a few, um, a few more water features in here. Uh, along the edges especially, some like really large ones with some artificial waterfalls, so I think that's gonna be really cool to see. Hopefully, if, if we can pull it off, but I think it'll look really cool when it's done. Um, let's just get that around. Let's also do... let's just replace a bunch of this grass with short grass. I, I like the green, but yeah, we don't. it doesn't need to be long grass. It can also be short grass. Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go, that's almost perfect. We just need a bit of rock as well for them. So let's just put it over here where... Oh yeah, that looks absolutely ridiculous. Never mind, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I was gonna say, we can put it over there where we know that that uh, uh, waterfall is going to be later, but let's just put it along the edge here so that it doesn't look like the most ridiculous thing in the world right off the bat. And then maybe along the edge here. I know we're kind of getting rid of some of the soil, but I think this should be fine. Do, 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 do. Paint it terrain. Hopefully, I will have to check on the people in just a second here as well, as soon as we get this a little bit better. I don't know, we're pretty close. Let's work on the hard shelter instead. Um, let's see, what are these everybody thinking? Uh, yeah, we need to give them a shelter. Okay. Absolutely, we need to give them shelter. I am not arguing with that. So let's give them a temporary shelter. We will pay for uh, maybe just one of these guys. And I want to put it over here where I put this bedding in. And then their actual shelter will probably end up being somewhere else. But at least over here, they can have the privacy that they're going to need. Well, we earn a bit of money and that way we can, you know, have them running around while we finish building. Yeah, look at that. Okay, they are much healthier now. We just need to get some enrichment going. So let's set up the vet research on our greater flamingo. Okay, and now is everybody happy? Oh yeah, look, the greater flamingo view is great. You know, that's a really good point. I actually didn't really think about the fact that, of course, the flamingos are going to be over here. Um, What should we do? Should we put the food over here or should we move the education over here? Uh, the greater flamingo looks bored. I gave them shelter. They're thirsty. Yeah, okay, so I think... Yeah, there's not much to see. Of course there's not much to see yet. Um, I think I might move these, actually. Just because... Well, why not? Um, I think ultimately I do want them where we had them there, but... I... Don't think it's a problem. Um, okay, wait, let's move it. Select so exit that. And select this guy. Select the group. There we go, perfect. And <laughs> again, temporary solutions, but we are gonna at least make sure that it looks nice. There we go, look at that. Okay, let's connect the path here. Oh, interesting, it doesn't auto-connect. That's okay. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Now let's do the same thing with this guy. 
Is that the thing? And turn you around a little bit. Set the group and move it forward. Just a little bit of a little bit of nitpicky work, of course, at the beginning. It's kind of it's hard to tell how you know your plans are actually gonna work out in this game right off the bat, but it looks like this might work out. So I mean, we still have ten thousand dollars left. I'm thinking maybe we just I don't know. Do we just duplicate these or do we move them? I'm thinking maybe we just duplicate them. Um, we'll just add a bunch more in here. Why not? So, just line it up all nice here. And maybe once we get the, we can put an exhibit, uh, maybe right in here, we'll pay for one. So that will help out a little bit as well. Um, get some education. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is the reason we had it over there because that's where our power was? Shoot. Oh, no. Okay. We have power everywhere. Uh, problem solved. Okay. Let's just do, uh, which ones did we do already? Let's do climate change. Let's do the one after climate change, land sharing and land sparing. And then this one can be poaching and the exotic pet trade. Let's change all these to flamingo. <laughs> a little bit of a rocky start, but I am not concerned. I think we will. This will be great. And the flamingo, perfect. And let's get some more TVs in. Dun, 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 dun. Let's. Oops. Oh, well, let's put that first. Some people right here. We need to get you some donation boxes as well. Oh, there is a donation bin there. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, look at that sunset. All right, let's take a moment away from the crazy hustle and bustle. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Flamingo poop and everything in there. Okay, sorry, moving on. Um, get a few more education boards down. I know that, I don't know, I always struggle a lot with the education rating in this game. I know, I mean, I know the basics, basically the more, I don't know, the more educated your guests are in any sort of way around a habitat, the higher that rating is going to go up. So I think that's why these like non-species education boards also kind of do the same thing. But we will see, hopefully, I think that number kind of, it has to go up over time. They're not going to be all of a sudden educated just because there is a signpost there. So let's get a few benches in here as well so people can sit down and watch the flamingos. I'm also not really sure what triggers the like, oh, I need to go home. I wish I could have stayed longer thing. I, I mean, I know people, if people get too hungry, too thirsty, maybe we do actually need a washroom in here too. Um, why is there no vendor for this? Maybe I need to, do I need to hire a fourth vendor? How many vendors do I have? Let's take a look. Oh, what did we get? Oh, yay. Okay. We're going to do that too in just a second. So we have staff, vendor, we have three vendors. Waiting for customers, resting, commuting. Okay. I mean, they're low workload as well. So I, I think that's fine. Let's get the flamingos an enrichment item from that research. Habitat, flamingo. Oops, well, that's not what I meant to do at all. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Okay, habitat, flamingo, enrichment. Oh, please say we got something. Oh yeah, the waterfall. Okay, cute, okay. Let's put this over here as kind of like a placeholder for what we will have over here. There are waterfalls. Oh, like that. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I mean, it looks actually, no, that looks really dumb right there. Let's move it over to the water. <laughs> uh, change my mind. Okay. And let's do, let's put it here so it actually goes into the water like that. Perfect. Uh, I guess the flamingos goes, can they actually, I don't know if they can actually get out the other side. I'm not sure why they can't get in this side, but they can get out that side. Um, are they both over on over on this side right now? There's one flamingo. Where's my other flamingo? 
Where did you go? <laughs> did I lose my second flamingo? Am I just being an idiot? Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Yeah, I want to make sure that it can get back. So, because I, I don't know how it got out of the water. I don't know if it can get back in the water. <laughs> oh yeah, it can. Okay. Okay, so this edge for some reason is oh, good enough. And then he has to go back up this way. That's fine. I'll fix this. I'll make it like less steep, steep of a slope a little later. Probably next time or maybe in between episodes, I'll, I'll do a little bit of patching up for that. Ah uh, yeah, and here is the food. Oh, wonderful. And everybody's actually walking all the way around. That's cool. I know the zookies with expanding. All right, I think this is going pretty decent. I don't think we're making any money. <laughs> Let's take a look. Uh, we made, actually, no, we did, well, no, we're not making more than our taxes and ongoing expenses. So let's get one of those exhibits in here before too long. Um, whew, 3,000. Okay, so we're gonna, we're, let's do one exhibit. So we'll do one exhibit. Um, if we put it here, we could do something like that. So we have, try to get it square. Like that, I'm thinking. And then maybe we can connect that front as well. If we move this bench. Bench over here, and then can we connect this? No, no we can't. No, we can't connect it, okay. Let's undo that. Let's move this bench anyway, because we know it's gonna be in the way. I'm just going to put one of these guys back here a little ways, and then we will connect the other sides afterwards. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of right in between those two there. Let's do that, and then we will do some paths. Let's get our railing back. That's the other thing that I want to do as well, is I do want to, I do want to custom make these railings. Um, the ones that are keeping the flamingos in kind of along the edge. Um, but that's something that I, I want to wait until a little bit later to tackle as well. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Can we do that? Are we going to get that lucky on this side? Oh, yeah, we are. Beautiful. Okay. So let's get ourselves a exhibit animal. So highest appeal are these guys. A thousand is a bit much. Um, lesser Antillian Iguana. We could do an iguana. Is there a female iguana as well? Um, oh no, actually, I want the eastern blue tongued lizard. Those are so fun. Let's do a couple. Let's get a couple of those instead. Um, let's take a look. Take a look. Take a look. There's a male. I want to make sure that we can get a female before I commit to that. Oops, that's not what I meant to do at all. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at the eastern blue tongued lizard. Oh yeah, there's a female. Okay. Uh, source pet, source rescue. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get these two. I think I'm not too concerned about these stats on these guys. All right. Uh, storage. Let's move her to here and move him to here as well. There we go. Let's get some education down for them. Uh, viewing devices. I'm not sure what makes the most sense. I guess, yeah, I put it in the center, that way everybody can view it while they're, while they... Let's see there. Oh, let's make sure. Are they good? They look like the temperature. Okay, look at that. It came <laughs> already perfect. That's excellent. Don't have to panic about anybody complaining that they're upset. And... There we go. Are they in here? Oh, there they are. Cute. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, unselect. There we go. Just chillin'. Can you do the uh, camera on these guys? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, so so zoomed in. It's so glitchy. There he is. Aw. I love that. Okay. So does anybody please say that somebody's excited about <laughs> seeing them at least? Oh, everybody's so excited about the flamingos. Very cool. Wish I could have stayed longer. Oh, no. Oh. Are they really... they need to use the toilet already? <laughs> They're not even staying for very long. Ah, oh, okay, maybe it... Alright, alright. 
I had mentioned it once before already. Let's spend our last 2,000 on on a toilet and pray that we are going to be able to make our money back very soon here. Oh, we can't. Oh, oh shoot! We may. Oh, well, all right. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> You know, it's all right. We're gonna make we're gonna make some money. I'm sure we will. Everybody's here. Donations should be coming in. Is anybody donating? A little bit of money here and there. Oh, nobody's donated here. Oh, this one's got a lot of donations. All right, let's see. Let's let's watch our cute little flamingos for a minute while we wait. Food. Oh, there they are. Hello. In your boring habitat, I'm sorry. What is all- okay. Is that- what is that? Okay, I don't think that's flamingo poop. I think that's just dirt. Uneven- uneven ground. <laughs> see if it's small. Huh. I'm surprised. People are just- I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we have- a, we already have a- oh my goodness. Hold up a minute. Did I just miss something? Do we already have a baby flamingo? I didn't even see that notification. Oh yeah, they did. Oh, wow. All right, look at that. See, I knew it. I knew flamingos bred like crazy. <laughs> all right, so that's what everybody is all after, right? You guys love the baby flamingo. Um, I need to get some speakers in for that education as well, actually. I don't know, did I put speakers over here? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, I'm gonna move these speakers and set them to the flamingo because our education ratings are still very low. Um, if I just put it in, no, I'll, well, I don't know. I, sh I think it makes more sense to just put it in the middle of the path, isn't it? Let's take a look at the education. Let's put it up a bunch. And this guy as well. Yeah, I think these speakers make a really big difference for education. No power there. <laughs> did I put it in the one spot that doesn't have power in the suit? Of course I did. Okay. Education. Education. There it is. Okay. Let's move this guy. I don't know, just over here. Still, wait, what, what's going on with my. Where's my power coverage? Okay. Let's move it just inside the power coverage. There we go. Much better. Mm. All right, do I have one more up here? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's also move this one over. I should have, I don't know, I guess maybe I should have not bought the extra education stuff, saved a little bit of money, but you know what? You live, you learn. I think that we should be able to pull through. Oh, let's go up to 10 on that guy. 10 on this guy. And... Maybe we move them over a bit and then turn it up because I, I know they like to watch them in the water from right over here. But I also don't want it to be too loud in the actual flamingo habitat because if I was a flamingo, I would not want speakers playing in my face all day every day telling me about flamingos. Oh, look how cute he is. I love that, I, I love that they're like monochrome flamingos. Like they all of a sudden turn, like or not all of a sudden turn, they're born black and white and it looks like they just like got all the color sucked out of them. And they're walking together so cute. <laughs> Is this mom? Are you following mom? Yeah, of course you are. That's adorable. Okay. So nobody likes these guys. <laughs> uh, why is that? Why is nobody going to see them? Ooh, are you guys getting educated? No, of course not. I'm bored of looking for a bin. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, we, we made some vital flaws at the very beginning of this, assuming that people were going to hang out on the other side. And that was dumb because of course the flamingos are not going to be hanging out on the other side <laughs> of their habitat. And all of our bins and everything are over here. So let's just move them for now so we don't have to spend some more money getting them. But our janitor can come and clean this up, I'm sure. No problem. Uh, some people got drinks. Nobody wants to see our blue-tongued lizard, but I am going to move one of the donation bins 
over there, just in case anybody does want to come and see them. You can donate. Do you don't want to see the blue tongue lizard? Are you sure? It's right there. I wonder what it is. I don't. I wonder why nobody's going to see them. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake again. Maybe we should have put it at the beginning. But it looks like ooh, it looks like everybody's reading the education. Yeah, look at that. Twelve percent. Okay. I wonder if the ticket price is too low. Souvenir shops is researched. Excellent. Oh, actually, have we made any achievements for some money? No, not yet. Okay. So two different habitat species, drink profits, and guests. So that will just come with time, I think. But I do want to increase the ticket price a little bit. Let's do $5 adult, $3 children, see how that goes. For now, we're a cute little waterfall. And did our flamingos go swimming? Over to their side now. Why do I keep losing my flamingos? Oh, they're in the shelter. Of course they're in the shelter. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Get away from the people a little bit. Maybe that's not good for us. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so now that there's no flamingos to look at, everybody can come over here and take a look at the lizards. I think the lizards are pretty cute. I like how they have this. I'm not sure what that multi-layer is. I guess it's like a... just rocks. Oh, it's like a little cave for them to lay in. That's pretty cute. So our vet research must have gotten a little bit more done too, right? Okay. Yeah. So let's see if we have some more stuff for our flamingos that we can throw in here to increase their enrichment a little bit more. I think their overall, their overall welfare is pretty good, but let's get that up to closer to 100%. Ah, forge pool. That is perfect. So let's put the forge pool over here. Or should I put it here, right in front of the, the lizards? <laughs> I'm not sure what the better way of doing this is. Let's do it over here for now. Forge pool in, and then, yeah, there we go. Enrichment is full. Their welfare is 90. Uh, what else is it? Social group's too small. Let's see if we cannot adopt a couple more flamingos. I don't want to, I mean, we don't have the money to build another habitat anyway. So, oh yeah, look at that. They have flamingos up for cash. Oh, we have less cash than we do conservation credits now. That's okay. Let's get, okay, let's get this guy. He's got good size and a good longevity. And let's just hope that it doesn't, I know, I think, I don't remember if my other ones were also, I think my other ones were also from Frontier Zoo because I haven't spent any of the conservation credits yet. So I'm just hoping that they can actually mate. I, I don't know how that works with Frontier Zoo. Um, you know what? Maybe we should just get her as well. It's not, she doesn't have awful stats. And they are fairly cheap. Alright, hopefully a couple more flamingos will help our guests get a little bit more excited and give us some more donations. But I think that is pretty much all that I'm gonna do for this very first episode. So thank you so much for tuning in and of course, if you have any suggestions or, uh, I don't know, questions or can answer any of my questions or anything like that. Oh, wow, what are you doing? Let's, uh, okay, first of all, don't put benches on the other side of fences. Um, but yeah, as always, let me know in the comments below uh, if you have any suggestions for this series or tips um, and tricks for me as we go through and hopefully next session we'll make a little bit more money and be able to really start to beautify this place and get this flamingo habitat looking like it should. So until next time!